I really love this board because you can see it already has the mounting holes so you can actually you know 3d print something for this and set it up somewhere it just looks so nice <laughs> So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Eoshin EV800DM. Now, I still haven't used this to fly because the weather has not cleared up and winter is coming, so it's been a bit difficult to find clear weather. However, what I've decided to do today is we are going to be taking this apart, double checking if it does have diversity, and I also want to show you what is the size difference of the screen between the EV800DM and the EV800D, and it is pretty noticeable. So let's get started. Now, I really like the main board, and I'll show you why in a bit. And also, what I've done is I've just cut straight across with a box knife right here instead of removing it because uh, it's, it's just held together with some sort of a glue under the foam here. Now, in terms of comfort, this thing is surprisingly comfortable, more than the EV800Ds. However, they lack in screen size, but screen size isn't always everything with these. So you need to take that into consideration. Bigger is not always better. However, in this case, uh, th that's not true. I mean, you, you want a little bit bigger here, but I see what they're trying to do. What they're trying to do here is trying to emulate kind of uh, what a fat shark might be on your face. So as you can see right there, that is the whole, that's just, that's basically the screen right there. And to put that into comparison, I'm not saying it's bad. It has its use case. It could be pretty good, but um, you can tell, you, you can see the difference between the EV800Ds and that one. This is all screen right there. So you can kind of get an idea here. So let's go a little bit deeper here. So while we're taking this apart, uh, they do share the same feature sets. You know, you have SD card for recording, you have an AV input, you have a, a 1S battery. However, something they've also gotten right on this is the battery size. I think the battery size is around 2000 milliamps. I don't know what they're stating, but it seems like that normal LiPo they use uh, even in the 800Ds here. Now, you need to take something in consideration. Uh, these are basically manufacturers, and Eoshin is not manufacturing these. It's just rebranding them, and um, that's what you're usually seeing. However, what Eoshin does is it tries to give more for less. Yes, compared to the other Chinese companies, it's basically the most premium specced out OEM you can purchase that's how you should think of this uh so they go to the manufacturer they see what's new they like one they try it, like okay let's try to rebrand this one and see how well it goes but to be honest i think the d the ev800 d's uh were the best which i'll have also linked down below uh so once we pop this off we have to remove these four screws and this just comes right off now i really really love the main board here so let's just take this out also and you got to just wiggle it out very nice and easy. You can see the blue part in the back. That's actually the battery. And the battery is pretty big. It's, just, it's the same size as the ones that are found in the EV800s. You also have a smaller screen here, so as you can tell. This is exactly the same size. For these, they actually place them right in the front here. And I've actually was able to push it all the way down and actually put two here. Now, something they've got completely wrong. Uh, what I think this manufacturer has done, not, I don't think was a very intelligent move. Now, since these are all running 1S, as you can tell right here, that means we can also charge this with just a USB input. So this is, just, you know, it's a 5 volt adapter. Why would you do that? You could even save money. Just give a micro USB and change this to a micro USB and it'll just start charging. I don't know why the hell they've gone ahead and made a proprietary charger here. It's kind of annoying. And it's also, you know, the same thing with every other goggle here. Um, I don't know why. They could have just easily set up a USB port and you should have been good to go. So we can see our first receivers right here, which is a good sign. SD card. This acts as an AV input. So you could use something like the docking to put a wrap fire possibly if this chip will be able to handle the fast switching speed but then again you can drop into legacy mode on those here's the second receiver and this is the screen and again just for comparison I just really want to show you the screen here so the screen on the EV800 is basically the size of this whole thing right there so you are getting a noticeably smaller screen now the lens here does magnify to an extent but it's nowhere near the EV800Ds and again don't think I'm hating on this I'm not saying this is a bad product I personally still haven't tested it but I just wanted to show you a comparison so you get a better idea and a closer look here now the overall I would say the build quality is actually really nice. I mean, the plastic is really good. And um, the, the overall build here, the overall board, I really love this board because you can see it already has the mounting holes. So you can actually you know, 3D print something for this and set it up somewhere. It just looks so nice. 
everything's in it you'll have to figure something you can actually take just the whole thing like that and come up with a case up top here so overall it's it's, it's nice i mean i could see many use cases for it price is good but then again i personally probably push for 800 d's uh, for example if my brother were to ask me which one should i get i i'd probably recommend one of these instead now there's also something to take into consideration sometimes with smaller screens you actually fly better but not really really small so i don't know what is this trying to simulate here until i go fly it um it could be good i'm sure it's okay don't think this is my opinion it's going to be better than the uh ev800 ds in my opinion because i think those two would be put into the same class because anything that comes out is going to be competing with these because by far these are you know the most feature-packed best budget goggles that have been released and still have been released in terms of box type but um the best budget goggles are the sky zones like proper goggles not the box goggles and you also need to take something into consideration about these box goggles once you transfer into a full-fledged proper goggle your flying your gap hitting will immediate you'll see an immediate increase in your uh skills in your confidence and it just plays a huge role night and day difference i was able to hit gaps go between trees and just feel more confident so if you're already pretty good with the box wait till you put the goggles on but a proper goggle i'm not talking about an ion way probably like a sky zone or yeah like a sky zone sky o2x or the sky zone oleds those are just insane those are my main driver i don't even use my hdos anymore and well that's all i got to say guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think down in the comment section and um, if you have used this, let us know your experience because that is very beneficial for everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.